several West Michigan counties are now at substantial risk for the spread of COVID-19. That is according to the CDC, which tracks positivity rates in counties across the country. News 8 Susan Samples reports health leaders are voicing concerns about an uptick in cases. Brian and Sue, with the Delta variant dominating the surges in some southern states, we wanted to check in with public health leaders here. The highly contagious strain is here, and state health officials say it's likely contributing to the slow uptick in cases we're seeing. We're nowhere near the positivity rates we saw during the spring surge, but healthcare leaders are worried. Take a look at where the CDC puts West Michigan's risk for transmission. While Kent, Ottawa, Montcalm, and Nuego counties remain in the moderate risk zone, most of our southwestern counties are now considered at substantial risk. That means the CDC recommends folks there wear masks, even if they're vaccinated. Advice the Kalamazoo County Health Department fully supports. Now, unfortunately, because our levels are creeping upwards, we've got to apply some of the other mitigation strategies, and that includes recommendations for mask wearing, you know, basic hygiene recommendations as it relates to sanitation, cleaning, distancing. Right now, Michigan's positivity rate for COVID testing stands at 5.53%. That's far below April's spike, but definitely trending upward. Remember, the target is 3% or under. While Kalamazoo County says it has yet to see a significant increase in hospitalizations, they expect that could follow in a couple weeks. Spectrum Health says it too is concerned about what's to come and is already seeing a slight uptick in inpatient COVID cases. There is growing concern uh, based on the statistics that we're monitoring every day. Uh, we're seeing the ED activity, emergency room activity uh, on the increase. That has been a very uh, accurate predictor of uh, inpatient activity. And so uh, we're seeing that gradually up, up, uptick over the last week to two weeks. Public health leaders continue to urge vaccination, as does Spectrum Health, saying it remains the best protection. The state health department releases new positivity rates tomorrow. We'll track them. Back to you.